Um, what if a patient doesn't disclose maybe fully their health issues? Well, that's happened to me, And then as at you the know. last minute, sometimes it yep. pops up. Yep. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Or, or they don't tell. Or they, <clears throat> or they don't <laughs> they tell even, us. Or you, afterwards, you confront them with it, and you say, you know, you know, um, I asked you before surgery if you've ever had any surgery on your nose. You came in here for a rhinoplasty. You want me to make your nose look better. And you said, no, you never had anything. And I get in there, and I can see clearly where, mm -hmm. you know, there's been cartilage grafts or there's been some alteration of the internal structure of the nose, and everything is socked down and scarred, and you just can't produce the kind of um, result that you're looking for. And and that, that really creates a problem because sometimes in the course of trying to do what you were contracted to do, you end up disturbing or or messing up, for one of a better description, mm -hmm. what was in place before, and now you've created a new deformity or a new problem that they didn't have before. And it's like, well, yeah, but that wouldn't have happened had I known, you know, yada yada. Mm -hmm. So it does. It gets kind of it gets kind of sticky like that, you know. Right. I mean, anytime a surgeon has to go in after another surgeon and he doesn't really know exactly what was done. It creates another level of complexity and um, challenge, you mm -hmm. know.